Hello, this is JW, and we're in the kitchen today. Just have a look behind this socket here. And um, what I hope you find inside is some green gunge. Uh, this is a particular problem which occurs with cables from the late 1960s and early 70s, and it's due to the manufacturing of the cable in that the plasticizer in the PVC insulation tends to leach out. Uh, it reacts with the copper and forms a horrible green slime, which eventually actually leaks through the holes of the uh, sockets and around switch of things, and in extreme cases can actually start leaking down the wall and making a horrible mess. This one isn't quite as bad as that, but uh, we'll have a look inside, hopefully uh, find some inside there. Now this socket has been replaced uh, a few years ago and uh, the problem was evident then, and although it was cleaned up, it's probably gonna have returned because it usually does. Now I've actually already disconnected the power to this circuit and uh, confirmed that that has been done. So let's just open this up and uh, see what's inside. Now the cabling, this one is actually from 1970, which is when the building was constructed. So right in that particular period when the uh, problem was evident in the manufacture. Cables after 71 or 72 uh, don't have this problem because of course uh, by then the problem had manifested itself and uh, the manufacturing process was changed. Now, just uh, ease that away from there. Right, I'll just remove the uh, socket there, and you see it's got the uh, green sleeving, which is typical from the 1970s. Now you can see at the bottom here, a bit of a pool of the green has collected there. I'm not wearing these gloves because uh, I don't particularly want this stuff on my fingers. And if you look at the back there where the uh, cables are, you can hopefully see the slight green colouring on the end of the cables there. And you see it does tend to come off there. So I'm just going to use this bit of paper to go in there and uh, clean a bit of that away. As you see there, that green is coming off uh, quite well onto the uh, tissue there. Now the problem with this stuff is that, although it's not inherently dangerous in itself, of course it's actually the plasticizer leaking out the cable, and the plasticizer is what makes the cable flexible. Uh, without the plasticizer, then all you're left with is PVC, which will be fairly inflexible and break quite easily, and it's similar to the uh, PVC you find in window frames and doors and things. So if the cable is left in situ, it's not generally a problem, but of course as soon as it starts to move slightly, it will crack and fracture, and then of course it can be compromised and you have faults and things occurring. We'll see on the uh, paper there, there's a fair amount of green on this one and so this has only been closed up here for a couple of years. Unfortunately there isn't really any solution to this cable mess other than replacing the whole lot of cables themselves so all we're doing here is just really cleaning off the worst of it before it seeps out and uh, falls out on the floor. And again, as you can see there there's a fair amount of uh, material come off of there. Obviously at the bottom there it's obviously leaked out in the past there and uh, eventually so they actually starts running down the wall or in some cases it uh, comes out of the socket holes and makes a horrible mess. Now the effect is normally worse on the uh, bare uh, CPC or uh, earth wire in the centre and you see if I just pull the uh, green insulation away there you see there it is actually quite wet and oily looking there, which is say, basically the plasticizer. The plasticizer in itself is transparent or colourless and it goes green purely as a reaction with the copper wire. So you just ease some of that away again. You can see it's uh, fairly prevalent around the edges of the outer white uh, covering there. And again, it's starting to seep down on that uh, red conductor there. And again, mostly obviously on the uh, centre copper wires there, which of course are not sleeved in the cable itself. This green sleeving being added later at the point of installation. So that's an example of green slime, and it's uh, say caused by a defect in the manufacturing of cable from the late 60s and early 1970s. And as I said before, we did actually disconnect the power from this socket earlier before the video was started and obviously confirmed that the power was disconnected. And just a final word, when you actually screw things like this back on the wall, 
be particularly careful that you don't actually catch any of the wires on the fixing screws, as uh, that's actually quite easy to do if you're uh, not paying attention, because you don't want to be putting the screws right through the conductors and causing a fault. Until next time, thanks for watching.